Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and welcome to the beginning of the end. That's both figurative and literal, as the writers were generous enough to give us a very on-the-nose episode title. This is the two-part premiere of My Little Pony Gen 4 Season 9, our final starting shot signaling a race to the series finish. It's been a wild ride thus far, and I imagine there's steam left in the engines to pull us through 26 episodes of charm, surprise, hilarity, insanity, and sentiment. At this point in time, the premiere's title is the only thing I've learned about Season 9, and I just found that out before I started recording. It's the only reason I know this is a legitimate two-parter, actually. It's an ominous title, and I have to wonder if it means more than just the end of the series, but also that these two episodes might either leave us hanging, or funnel us into a season-spanning arc, in the vein of finding the ancient artifacts back in Season 7. You know, something driving us toward the finish. I'd certainly love to see the series go out on a strong narrative hook with an ambitious bang, but for now we'll have to wait and see. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start the end off right. <laughs> Alright, starting off well. A lot of Twilight anxiety. Going to Canterlot. Good, we're all here. So every pony got an urgent summons to the castle with no explanation? Uh oh. I just love a good mysterious summons. Celestia and Luna already kidnapped. You think it's a surprise party? It's a trap. Why are we ready? Because something could be terribly wrong. Some pony turned bad, another evil creature back for revenge. Who would Don't turn you bad? You're being a little paranoid. No one in this you world turns bad. Scrolls in such a hurry. Good point. They'd know better than to make us worry. Plus, I like it when you run so fast, the walls get all blurry. <laughs> I like that, uh, it's almost an animator joke. Cozy goes black. Black, back. Girls, thank you so much for coming. Don't Tell misconstrue us, that. We do. That's just it. Nothing's wrong. Everything's perfect. <laughs> Did y'all call us down here just to tell us that? You've succeeded. With due respect, Majesties, you might want to save your urgent summons for matters that are a bit more, well, urgent. The world is in perfect <laughs> harmony. <laughs> well, there is more to it. Equestria is currently enjoying its longest period of harmony in recent years. Oh, wow. It's all thanks to you, Twilight. And your The least wars Who? we've Us? ever had. Sure. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Thank you. Because of your efforts, there's been less and less for us to do. <laughs> so, after much consideration, That's your excuse. my sister and I have decided it is time for us oh my God. to retire. Oh my God. Breaking news! The royal princess is retiring. I have so many questions. Oh! Who will take over? Who will run Equestria? Will it be someone told? Dark? It's Twilight. Lord of Chaos. Oh! If this is where we're going this season, if this is how it ends. Oh, fine. Go with the obvious choice. <laughs> oh, boy! All right. If that is our finale, then. If the end of the show is her stepping up to the plate and being the princess, not of just friendship, but of Equestria, along with her friends, I would presume, is how we get there. That would be a fitting final note with a nice zoom out like the season five finale gave us. That's super interesting, though. We're starting off with... Ooh! You're retiring? Princesses can retire? <laughs> are we doing it now, or are we trying to take our time? For one, I'm looking forward to a little R&R. &R. Maybe a trip to Silver Shoals. And you want me to take your place? Luna spends most of her time dreaming. With the help of your friends, of course. Yep, there we go. It's like Celestia knows what needs to happen. I can't think of any pony more worthy. Over the years, we've watched you grow. You face task after task, challenge after challenge. Countless adversities, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. come such a long, long way. And you've always prevailed. Thank yada, you. yada. I mean that I'm, that we're ready to do what you do. I mean, the last finale, she technically I'm prevailed, but. To take in, but. Nope. Makes perfect sense. We're awesome. It was the students that saved the day. I mean, we get all your powers. Ooh, ooh. I <laughs> Ready to step into their horseshoes just like that? Well, 
If the princesses think it's time to retire, we're not a bad choice. There's plenty of dreams Rainbow would not like to be in. Heart. That's a fair point, which should be taken into consideration when we have a roundtable discussion. Well, I'm in. One caveat. Spike can't join. Update, and I would love to pick your brain about main maintenance when you have a moment. Yeah, give us the ins and outs of flowy hair. I'm sure we can do it. Yay! Protectors of Equestria on three. One, two. You must be this tall to rule. It's a long three. If you're all on board, I guess I am too. Seeing Spike's knuckles like that. Equestria! Kind of weird. All right, protectors. It'll be a bit of an adjustment, but I imagine the transfer of power will be a lengthy process, which will be Actually, we just need a few days to put together <laughs> a ceremony. Actually, you're queen already. A few days? We signed the paperwork in your name. But that's so soon. Shouldn't there be some sort of training program that lasts weeks, no, months, if not years? Like another Everything generation? Everything have gone through over the years has been a training program. Okay, but there's got to you be You sneaky little mentor, you. Right here, how to rule Equestria by no pony make pretend smith. Um, has that been vetted the by the... You wrote yourselves is a better guide than any we could provide. Whatever <laughs> Chancellor Naysay's curriculum is. In you, and we hope you'll have the same in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twilight, the uh, epitome of confidence. I'm absolutely certain she does. So what's gonna... I am not confident about this at all. Is this what just her? I was being sarcastic before. Learning to be prin uh, well, princess. Princess, princess. What? This is all so predictable. Now's the part where you all tell little Sparkle here that everything is going to be fine, but she won't believe you. Or will we get a big cataclysmic event? Here for this. She has to face yes. beforehand. No, I said yes, but then they said in a few days, and there's still so much to figure out. It's all happening so fast. <sighs> Do you have to rule in Canterlot, or can you rule by the by your home? Okay, I'll feel much better once you make a plan. You move in the capital. Oh wow, it's like you knew you were going to react this way. We did. Classic Twilighting. That's a good pinky face. You made me a verb? That's gotta be new. It's not a bad <laughs> thing. We just know you have a process. I didn't know I was an expression. You big news and you're like, no! But then you pace and you chart, you worry. It's okay. You go ahead and twilight and we'll be here for you. Oh. You're all acting so calm. Oh. Deal. What do we do if something big happens? Look, they have faith in you like you have faith in Celestia. Um, if you think about it, they literally almost never help. Oh. <laughs> and we still Oh, play. I love when this. Barbara almost took back the Crystal Empire, or when Chrysalis pretended to be Cadence, or when Tira came back and absorbed all the magic, or the other time Chrysalis tried to take over. <laughs> Am I missing anything? Pony of Shadows. Starlight when she was evil. Discord when he was evil. Do Flim and Flam count? <laughs> See, hey, in one of those futures, Flim and Flam did take over the world by force. Because it was all just training for you to take over. And it worked. I mean, if you think about it, there hasn't been a single villain that we couldn't defeat. I feel like Celestia is trying to retcon the story here and be like, hey, you know what? That was all training. We'll defeat Twilight, Sparkle, and her friends. <laughs> and they will pay for stealing my kingdom. We got a little loony. Oh my goodness. This is a problem. Someone needs an intervention, guys. Oh boy. Let's get everyone together. Please. And what is it now? I just want to make sure you can see my best friend's rock sculpture from over there. Make my fanfics come true, guys. Heck, let's get somber in this. Oh, wow. Lower than Tartarus? M for mischievous. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was not joking, but I didn't expect that to happen right afterward. Someone's bringing them all together. See? I think. Gets it? Chrysalis, queen of the changelings. Or at least I will be when I'm restored to my rightful place. I don't think Sombra was getting them all. I think he was revived, too. Ah! Oh, golly. We didn't bring you. I thought you freed us from Tartarus. Tartarus. <laughs> Whoever freed I... you from there must have been some... Oh, I love her just being... Indeed. The weird sidekick villain. 
Is he in charge? Oh my! Sombra, you have returned. Why did you bring us here? You didn't. Oh my goodness! It isn't. Who is this? Will Sombra ever talk? Was I? You may oh. call me Grogar. Grogar. Sounds like a barbarian name. I thought that you were a legend. I've heard of you. What? Hold on. I assure you, I am very real. And you have all been brought here as part of my plan to rid Equestria of Twilight Spark. Like that reverse Mordor, Mordor eyes. And for all. <laughs> what does he have against Twilight and her friends? Like specifically, I did. I am so sorry, but the name Grovar? It just doesn't Grovar. Really help. Grogar. Grogar. But. Cozy glow. Way too long if my name no longer strikes fear into the heart of one so tiny. I like his Perhaps thing. Demonstration of power is in order. Collar, whatever. Ooh, magic. I wonder if Discord knows about him. Why would you just automatically? Okay. Well, it looks like he's pretty powerful. He's ancient and extremely powerful. The land that would become Equestria was a mere collection of farms and pastures until he declared himself emperor of all he saw. All right. I remember hearing tales of his tyranny when I was young. More I lore. I also heard of the first emperor of Equestria, the father of monsters. I don't like I life to the foulest of creatures. I don't know if I like his voice. Wild, taking what they wanted and destroying the rest. My reign was a glorious, fear-soaked epoch of darkness in Equestria. <laughs> nice use of epoch. So Gusty the Great rose up and banished you. That fool believed taking my new hero defeat me, but she only weakened me temporarily. Okay. Um. T-Rex is really wow. old. No offense, you look good. <laughs> he knew about you when he was young. You aged incredibly. He ideas about what temporarily means. Silence! He had the longest reign of disharmony, and now we're in the longest reign of harmony. Power, biding my time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to seize control of Equestria. During the transition. Watching all of you. I've seen each of your humiliating defeats at the hooves of six puny ponies. I've been watching the show. Why they've always bested you? Because they cheat. Because they are annoying. Because of the writers. I'm just a kid, so... It is because <laughs> they work together. Where one is weak, another is strong, and thus unified, they are a formidable force. Yes. But we shall use their own strategy to defeat them. apes together strong. What are you suggesting. I suggest nothing. I demand that you join me, and together Equestria will be ours. Oh my goodness. I wonder if he's gonna try. I do ours. I only do mine. I don't Sombra. Be quiet, bud. Crystal Empire on my own, and I will destroy any pony who gets in my way. You didn't do too well before. Such confidence. Go. Try to take back your kingdom. I shall send you there myself. If you prevail, you may keep it. But when Please. you fail, you will submit to me. I and want them I refuse all to try and fail. Then I shall return you to the darkness from which you were summoned. Fine, but this is <laughs> as I will Fine. crush those who defy me. I will defeat all who get in my way. I okay, I kind of like Sombra again. The rest of you to prepare to work together. If he's that full of himself. Uh, working together sounds an awful lot like making friends, so you two are in luck because I know. <laughs> I graduated. I have the forged, I mean, real papers to prove it. <laughs> With the school closed for the summer, I didn't think any pony would be here. I want to see Somber just get so annihilated. No, nope. I already did that. Wait, no, nope, I didn't. Oh, not enough time. Help, she's spiraling. We're at the my plan needs a plan stage of a total twilight meltdown. Oh, man. Oh, That's God. only like three inception layers of plans away from Did I write down a little bad. redundant lists on my school of friendship to-do list or my personal to-do list? Twilight, ah! Starlight, I need a time spell. Good, Real fast. I need to talk to you. 
Okay. Slow down time so I can write more. Just starlight written down on one of these. Just let me find it so I can cross it off. <laughs> wow, you are twilighting hard. You said oh, yeah. twilighting too? Well, it's everyone knows about it. <laughs> I've ever been asked to run a whole kingdom. Uh, you're right. You're right. And when I'm ruler, so, I'm going to delete the word from the dictionary. It is. I wrote it down. Starlight, you have blossomed into one of the strongest, smartest, most caring ponies I know, and I can't think of any pony better to leave in charge of my castle and the school of friendship. So, what do you think? What? Wow, the you want me to take the emotion the and power behind that line yes? read. Uh, I can't. I'm not ready. Remember what happened the last time you left me in charge? Oh no. And now you want me to do it permanently? Now we have two spirals. <laughs> What is Starlight? Get In close proximity. Yourself. You've risen to every challenge you've ever faced. You can do anything you put your mind to. You've got this. <laughs> and so do you. See what I did there? Oh, snap. Everything you need to hear. She really is the best guidance counselor. But running a school and running a country are two very different things. Now, if you don't mind, I have 7,432 more things to take care of before I become the new ruler of Equestria. Potatoes, potatoes, Twilight. <laughs> It was a valiant effort. It was pretty well done. Starlight's, you know, she tried her best. Don't know if anything else could have done it. Here, yeah, Twilight just needs to destroy a villain and then she'll get the confidence. Oh God. That's how he does it? Sure. I think, I think Cadence and Shining could probably take him by themselves. But they really tried. This is pretty crazy, actually. Guards his sombers breach the castle. Hurry, Twilight. I feel like I've been desensitized to. Do you have flurry heart? Giant army. You had her. <gasps> threats, but. Oh no! You won't get away with this. Oh, but I already. It's an underhanded move, man. <laughs> With the crystal Ooh. now in my possession, there is nothing to stop me from ruling the crystal empire. Oh man! Be forced. <laughs> oh flurry! <sighs> I kind of was really hoping that flurry would just the key. sneeze him into oblivion. Well, here's our uh, crisis for Twilight to. Thanks for coming so quickly. Step up to the plate, too. But if you're going to be the ruler of Equestria, you may want to work on your penmanship. This looks like it says, Cadence sent an emergency message, Sombra's back, and he's taking over the Crystal Empire. That's exactly what it says. But oh. How is that possible? I, I thought you meant, I need PB&Js right I now. I have no idea, but he's back, and it's up to us to save the Empire and my family. Shouldn't somebody tell Celestia and Luna? Ooh, good point. They're on vacation. Probably loop in the real rulers of Equestria. No. But stomach face is a little disturbing. Equestria, we'll need to handle things like this on our own. Oh, Twilight. Could this mean that you finally have the confidence to ascend to the throne like the prince? <laughs> there we go. Maybe. We finally know. Consider taking care of Sombra for us? Who's sitting on the Iron Throne? at the end of no, 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 season no. nine. You're absolutely right. You need to learn how to handle these things on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you just got 10,000 Discord bucks. Well and good, but last time we defeated Sombra with the Crystal Heart. What if he has it already? How are we gonna stop him? How many skins can I buy with that? <gasps> it's like Discord just doing this to teach a lesson. With the elements of heart. I bet he could take Sombra. Knows we can defeat any pony, even Sombra. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Ooh. You didn't need the elements the last time you defeated Sombra. Nice! And I'm not sure that using them still counts as handling things on your own. My wow. family is in danger. We're gonna handicap ourselves. Any chances. She's got a point. Ugh. Just to prove worthiness. Or not. Here's Come on. Problem. Starlight, can you stay here and take care of the school? I've got you covered. This course is trying to train you. It'd be cool if they were just like, nope, we're no longer your elements. We've been passed on as of the last finale. It's 
shoot that you think that will do anything. It might not, but they will. Cavalry's here! Who just let them in? Get more guards, Sombra. How can I be surprised when I'm waiting to show all of you your greatest fear? Get better defenses. I like how quick and nonchalant this is in comparison to most other big villain attacks. Oh, Twilight. How disappointing. Equestria was in your care, and you let it be destroyed. I like how... Oh, oh no. You should all, all right. Surrender. Nothing can defeat your own fears. Yeah, but what if her fear is not defeating you? You've given her like to defeat them. We just needed to face them long enough to distract you. Yeah, these guys are They know what they're doing. It's cute that you think that'll do it. Oh, Flurry. She's the the country's best defensive weapon. Won the battle, but I shall win the war. You're not very intimidating, Sombra. You should stick to not talking. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so we let Sombra go because he's the one that can be disintegrated and brought back. Grogak had a uh, thanks, Twily. That in mind when he let him go. Easy. As magical battles go, that was a cakewalk. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I like this. <laughs> we did handle this pretty well on our own. Does this mean? I still don't feel like I'm 100% ready, but will I ever? Knowing you, nope. Nah. <laughs> like this I is the velament. And we have the elements. And together, we've never failed. We'll be okay. It's like not just character development, but capability and strategic development too, which is on a kind of different level than we usually see. Once again, Equestria is safe. What should we do to celebrate? Thanks to... I vote for a cakewalk! The Powerpuff Ponies. That was a cakewalk. Ooh! He's gonna try again. I don't know. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so many have tried, and yet Sombra just said, you know what? I'm just gonna break these, all right? Well, the elements are, I mean, they can probably regrow the elements, given the, the Deus Ex Machina ability of them in general. I kind of, though, I, I didn't expect, uh, just to see Sombra come back that fast. That said, I'm guessing that Sombra was revived, obviously, by Grogak. And now he's in the team plan, and this is just phase one of them trying to take them out. This isn't just Sombra going back again on Lone Wolf style. But I mean, that's... We'll know very soon in episode two. The beginning of the end part two. That's kind of a, a weird title when you think of it. But no accounting for taste. I am very interested. I There's no way that they can just... No, there is no way that the villains as the team are going to be defeated by the end of episode two. Like, this has to be a much longer deal. So let's see where the next episode actually brings us. All right. Previously on My Little Pony. It is we witness. The season just turning into a giant fanfic. With the help of your friends, of course. You may call me Rogar. Pretty much the formation of the Sinister Five of MLP right here. Take back the Crystal Empire on my own. And the most self-important Sombra. With those, we can defeat I kind of, he's, he's growing on me now. <laughs> he's like the Trixie of competent villains. Oh boy, I I want this story to extend through the season. I want 
Twilight to accept her role, step up to the plate, and give us something climactic later on. Leave us hanging here at the end of this one. Give us like an Avatar Season 2. Like, we made it out. We're alive, but not unscathed. <laughs> At least he's happy. At least he can laugh about it. What just happened? The Tree of Harmony can't really be gone, can it? You guys can't use your magic little toys anymore. You thought you defeated me, but you led me right to the source of your power. Now that it's destroyed, nothing can stop me. Ooh, so did he plan this? He's right. With the elements gone, I don't know how we can defeat him. Then we'll just have to beat Old yeah, rainbow kick! Come on, Twilight, we need all of them together. Oh. They just don't fit geometrically. I don't understand it. Is this gonna be the elements are inside of you guys all along sort of deal? Where they channel them separately? I will finally rule the Crystal Empire. Wait! With you out of the way, I will rule all of Equestria! Or are they gonna find, like, another oh, yes. version, like the Rainbow Powers? I think I know exactly where I'll start. Don't you dare say it! Sweet Don't Apple Orchards! Sweet little hometown. You leave Ponyville alone! I'm gonna start with Granny oh, Smith! Without your elements, it would be so easy to control you! Oh boy, the mean six! But there's no point. My conquering Ponyville is already your greatest fear. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks, Sombra. You just gave him the win. This is why you can't win, Sombra. The Tree of Harmony grew the elements. It kept the Everfree Forest under control. And now it's gone. Sombra will take over Equestria, and it's all my He doesn't fault. plan ahead properly I enough. I was ready to take the princess's place, but I never thought I'd mess up this badly. Leave no variables. What are you looking at me for? This is usually when you say something funny to lift our spirits. I got sorry. nothing. Nothing about this is funny to me. <gasps> We're bone. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be strong, but I just can't bear to think about poor Sweetie Belle under the spell of that monster. Or those sweet little cake twins. Or Spike. Or Starlight. Well, maybe Ooh, not Spike. Granny Pony forced to do that monster's bidding. I like how... Oh wow. What the Twilight? What are you Y'all got dirt on my hat? You can't just stay here. I'm gonna have to beat you now. And I don't know what I'm gonna do once we get out. But we can't just sit here and let Sombra make slaves of every pony we love. I like how this has been just a sequence of each party predicting the other party's move. I've been known to get my hooves dirty. Like pretending to be surprised and then faking them out. But right now! Show me the money! <laughs> Alright. Rarity. She's finally come into her own. So this is just Sombra then. Still on his lone wolf streak. So this will end with him being defeated and then accepting Grogax. Apple Bloom! Hand in marriage. No. Camaraderie of villains. You got a freer! Please! Jeez. This is pretty, like, large scale. Without the elements, my magic isn't strong enough to stop Sombra. High stakes. Spike! Ooh. Even Starlight. Where are you going? Starlight? We must lay siege to Canterlot. <laughs> no, snap out of it, you two. She's not even controlled. Stronger than his magic. She just really wants to destroy the capital. I can't get her to stop. I can't get None it. None of us can. We can't reach them. Like, man, this is... Like, not even the movie have, have them looking face-to-face -face with their family. Made the big, a black licorice fruitcake that says congratulations to our favorite Supreme Emperor Cake Sombra and Green Frosting! <laughs> the ugliest cake I've ever seen! Oh. <laughs> hey, it's how he ordered it. 
They only follow instructions. So sad my whole life. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to free them, and I don't know how to stop Sombra. Every pony was so sure I'd do such a great job. What you will do a great job, Twilight. Could anything else possibly go wrong? Well, with the tree I wonder. Gone, the Everfree Forest could grow out of control and threaten the town. Oh yeah, that can happen. But oddly specific. I forgot that was part of it. Man, they have to get the tree back then. Like, it's got to reform. If it's the one thing preventing this. ...how to defeat Sombra and bring every pony back to Ponyville. If we don't stop the forest, there won't be a Ponyville to come back to. We'll build a wall. Ahem. Vines can't climb over walls. We're just going to burn the forest down. Once and for all. Coincidentally, these tools are the same things they're going to use to beat Sombra to death. No, Bon Bon! No, Derby! I like Vinyl's glasses. Oof. You! Break it down! Uh, yup. Wow, he used his head. How very Rex of you, Mac. I mean, fled. Celestia and Luna are too cowardly to even stand. They're at the spa. Me. They're getting hoof cures. <laughs> this is pretty epic. <laughs> like, no joke. Don't know what else to say about that. This is as high state, big bad as we've ever seen in a finale or premiere. This is like a commercial for Roundup, the weed killer. Interesting that they have to try to take out the plants first. We have to keep trying! Yay! We're here to do something! We'll hold off the forest. We'll be able to handle things on our own. But I've never been happier to see two ponies in my home. You go after Sombra. No pony is meant to handle this on their own. Yeah, Star Swirl. The Tree of Harmony, it's... I know. I alerted the princesses as soon as I could. I felt it when it happened. Like part of my essence just ceased to be. I know what you mean. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't... Come on. I have more than enough magic in me to keep the Everfree Forest under control. Yes. You can do that? The Pillars and I planted the Tree of Harmony. Who do you think kept the forest under control before it did? We can plant it again! It's gotta be that the elements... But with the princess's help, I can keep it at bay! Just exist outside the confines of the amulets. Uh, yeah. And they can use them... Inherently, or something. Sombra's back, and he's taking control of all of our friends. We can handle our defenseless. <laughs> oh crap! Defend Equestria. Man, we suck. And we shall contain the forest. At least this is like the season three premiere. We'll hold off the elements. You go defeat Sombra. This is just like the season three premiere. In that regard. No, Floor, not Floor, uh, Aww, Sassy. Pony's all evilly. Oh. Sombra's <laughs> forces to fight our way through our friends? Not if I can help it. Not if I beat them up first. Wait. <gasps> oh, boy. It's like all of them facing their fears. Because I feel like they're all afraid to fight their friends. Okay, guess we need a different plan. Twilight? I don't know. I'm not prepared to fight against the citizens of Equestria. I guess that's one more thing. I, I mean, who is? Do. Well, we better figure out something quick because none of them seem to have a problem with it. Luna's fought against the citizens before. Get her. I'm sure she's fine with it. Ah! Ooh. Sorry about this fancy pet. We're getting all the characters. <laughs> 
We promise we'll let y'all out as soon as we can. <laughs> I like how they just have no idea what to do. Fast as faking in Equestria. Oh, Fluttershy's got it. She's going so fast. Nice. Those are concussion worthy. Gotcha. It doesn't count as, be as beating them up if we make them beat themselves up. What we need anyhow. We need to get inside. We can't just leave them here. All possessed and somberfied. What do we do, Twilight? I don't know, but we can't stay here. Somberfied, good word. All right, mass teleport. I'm sorry we couldn't help our friends, but I didn't know what else to do. At least we're inside. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, all we have to do now is defeat King Sombra. I feel like that was... Should have been plan A. We... How do we get past our friends? What? Uh, teleport. Oh my. No elements, no princesses? Seems like you're in a bit of a pickle. Nice. Or are you in more of a jam? Please, no, don't do it. Oh, no, Discord, why? What are you doing here? Oh, I hate it, thanks. Well, I was going to hang these up all over the castle to celebrate your <laughs> coronation, but apparently it's a bit premature. This is a very classic Discord maneuver here. Glad to see you. We could really use some all-powerful Lord of Chaos help right now. Moi? Oh, I hey. couldn't possibly. I got nothing. This is a job for a ruler. Stop, poodles! Pinky, watch your language, please. Discord, please! Oh, fine. <laughs> Just to be clear, I was really rooting for you to do this on your own and parlay that <laughs> confidence boost into being the best protectors of Equestria you can be. Discord just restrain the ponies. A little more helping. Let them take Sombra at least. <gasps> Creative you, and delicious. I don't know what we do without you. See, Discord is trying to show them they can do it on their own, but the real lesson is they can't. Okay, King. And it's fine to ask for help. Time to give up the crown. <laughs> Here to fight the good fight with nothing but your wits? Admirable, but foolish. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Discord. That's what we needed. Well, I guess it's on me to be the MVP today. I was betting on you, and I do hate being wrong. No, Discord is a trap. You think about it. I am your friend, so maybe you win because friendship wins. Oh, he's going to take oh, it out. I should get most of the credit for that. She's my favorite. <laughs> wow, all right. See, Discord, that's why you don't reveal those little secrets to the villain. He's a villain. He's going to take advantage of them. <laughs> Not even the Lord of Chaos can stand against me. I am truly the most powerful creature in Equestria. Boy, this is very, uh, season four finale-ish. We need you. Oh, please wake up. Please wake up. <gasps> Discord! Yay! I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, I ship it. I beat him without you. You couldn't beat me with him. Yes, you can. <laughs> Twilight, <laughs> look inside yourself. It would appear that you're on your own. <gasps> he's faking. I have nothing left to give. Oh, he's. That's it. Playing then? it up. We're doomed. Of course. Classic Discord. I can't believe it's taken you this long to realize it. Now, how shall I eliminate all this clutter in my throne room? Grr! Listen to me. You don't need me. You don't need the princesses, and you certainly don't need the elements. <laughs> Fluttershy. You know, he's pretty good at this. Always be kind. Applejack, you will always be honest. <laughs> You'll always be generous. Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash you'll always be suck. Loyal as can be. Pinky will always bring laughter wherever she goes. My goodness. I like <laughs> like the end of Deadpool 2. And always will be the embodiment of magic. You lost sight <laughs> He's of really you going for it. You're here together, willing to give everything you've got for Equestria. Nothing 
And no pony can ever take that away from you. You know, I don't know if Discord or Starlight who you are is the better manipulator in this series. It's going to take more than a sentimental speech to save you. They're both pretty high up there. Discord's right. We've proven time and time again that the real magic is the six of us working together. With these girls by my side, I'm not afraid of you. Yeah. I'm not afraid of what you can do or how much power you have. You should be. It's like friendship. Friendship be magic. Down, but we're going to get back up again. Yeah. Again. And again. Nice. As long as we're together, we will never stop trying to defeat you. You can parry. You're, you got it. Let's go Sekiro on this guy. For our friends. For, for our families. For Equestria. Oh. For Equestria. Yay. Got it. Second time. It's the charm. No. This can't be possible. Your magic can't defeat mine. I destroy the source of your power. Oh, my God. We destroy our friends. Ooh. Zombra, and we keep telling bad guys. But y'all just don't seem to remember. She's got the, cra the crazy hair. They said the title. Oh, my goodness. You can't beat them when they say the title. No! Wow. All right. There's good job on that one, animators. That would have been a really rough visual if he was human. Twilight, Twilight had the the wavy hair and the sparkles. Oh, she was going all princess. Juice. Only if it's not too much trouble. And it's red. And it has one of those little umbrellas. And two cherries. No, no. Actually, make it three. And maybe... Maybe some yodelers? Some donuts? I sing a song about it. made yourselves at home. Celestia, Luna, I know what you're going to say. I should have called on you as soon as I knew how dangerous it was. A good leader knows when to ask for help. And I didn't. And because True. Of me, the Tree of Harmony was destroyed. Equestria hey! some pony much better than me. We got seeds for days, and you You're saved right. Equestria. Oh. About one thing. A good leader knows when to ask for help. But a great leader has the courage to admit when they've made a mistake. And the strength to make it right. Congratulations, Today Twilight. proven to me beyond any doubt that she will be a great leader. You passed our test. Please? What? And I have decided it may have been a bit unfair to thrust this upon you without giving you the time you need to prepare. We'll give you about oh, 24 goodness. episodes really or so to ready. acclimate. Not ready? So Twilight's not here? <laughs> <laughs> this was all for nothing? I pretended to be very hurt and gave one of the most convincing speeches of my life. <laughs> You don't think some would-be king could actually hurt the Lord of Chaos? Oh my goodness, I love anyway, him. As I was saying, Applejack's I face. Very hurt to convince you that you didn't need anything but yourself to be the incredible leader I know you can be. And now it's not happening. Her disdain was incredible. But when she's ready, give it a season. She not be ready. What a waste of a perfectly wonderful speech. Oh, honestly, <laughs> I don't know why I even bother. Could have ended the whole Sombra thing whenever he wanted. But he didn't. Yeah. Because he cares. He's the Lord of Chaos. That's Discord for you. Ba -da -ba -ba -dum -bum. Sure weird way of being supportive. Super odd dude. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> wow. Also, truth be told, Celestia and I had fun today, fighting side by side with Star Swirl for our home. It's been years since we've gotten to do what you girls do. You are yeah. so easy. It's been well, since kind of, and kind of season three, though. Every adventure Guess that was years ago. But so rewarding. I'm up for anything, as long as it's with all of you. <laughs> Life certainly hasn't been done. So I guess this is the first time they fought for their home be. in a long time. We incredible together. And we would do anything for Equestria. I guess I know. When the time comes, as long as we're together, we probably... <clears throat> we definitely... Definitely! Yeah! You got this. Ba -dum -bum. Discord will have a harder time when you have T-Rex and Grogak. T-Rex, 
you say something nice about changelings, and Chrysalis, you say something nice about ponies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Well, multiracial. The three of you will be enough for my plan. Villain group. And what of King Sombra? Did he succeed? <laughs> They're learning the power of heterogeneity and villain friendship. I'd say he gambled and lost, but at least he can serve as a warning to those who doubt continuing with my plans, unless any of you have doubts. Uh, not I. 100% faith, sir. Then we shall join forces and work together to bring Equestria to its knees. All right, so Sombra's not coming back then. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Are we gonna have any sympathy for the devils here? Them being intimidated by the big bad? Is this an avenue to finally forgive Chrysalis? Because if, if you can make me believe that she deserves redemption, so then you know what? I'll give it to you. But you gotta work me up there, all right? Oh boy. I thought Sombra was being, gonna be revived again by him. And he was gonna be like, all right, fine, I'll help. But it looks like we are either going to take them out one at a time, or we're gonna have to fight all of them at the end. There are two very different avenues we could take with this. Is it just Grogak in the finale, or is it the foursome? Or maybe one goes down and it's a threesome. That's, sorry, wording. Man! I'm a little sad Sombra's gone, because Sombra and Chrysalis was, like, for a while, a, a dream team. Like, what a collab. But T-Rex there, with Cozy Glow and Chrysalis, that seems like a very fun dynamic. What if they help? What if they help take out Grogak? Because he becomes so powerful that he takes out Discord and the princesses, and then, like, Twilight has to ask help from Chrysalis. What a twist. But this could end up a multitude of, of ways. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the My Little Pony season nine premiere. And in many ways, that is something I have wanted for years. And I doubt I am the only one in that camp. We are going through an overarching narrative wrought with potential fan service fan fiction, and I am A-OK -okay with that. The writers know this is the end of gen four, so I hope they are throwing everything and the kitchen sink. I imagine we're going to see character traits in our villains that we've yet to experience before. They already gave us a new look on King Sombra, this overconfident, ego-driven ruler who quivers in defeat. Given what his personality ended up being in these episodes, he was played pretty well. The vocal choice did end up working. But now we have a league of villains going on that's down to a sinister four, let's say. And I'm very interested in seeing how their actions may or may not be sprinkled throughout the season, leading up to what should be a big finale. We've used this premiere to set up that the main six are very capable on their own. They no longer need the elements, or at least the trinkets, because they personify the elements and they can use their magic to defeat major threats. A traditional villain cannot stand up to them alone, which is why they have to group up and they have to learn to work together. Which is something I really want to see this season, the process of the villains of T-Rex and Chrysalis and Cozy Glow becoming acquaintances. And that leaves several viable narrative paths. A couple that come to mind, one, they fail to become friends and that's their downfall. Two, they become friends, which is an avenue for them to realize that what they're doing is wrong, and we might redeem them. But there are many shades of gray between those two possibilities. This was a very Twilight-centric episode, but her friends were used well as supporting personalities, both the rest of the main six, as well as Spike and Starlight. She's come to accept her future role, and we're gonna have a season to watch that come to fruition. Helped, as always, in our great times of need by Discord in his own peculiar way. Throughout the series, his hands-off guidance has helped Twilight become a ruler a few times. And this may be the last one because there's not much left for her to grow into. 
I figure the last thing he has to offer is actual physical help against this league of villains, and they will likely figure out a way to cancel out his powers. In the end, I'm betting Twilight will need to ask for help, but it'll require a lot more than what she had here. Be it help from the villains themselves in a dramatic turn, or help from all the residents of Equestria in a spirit bomb-esque final blow. The way this season has started gives me a lot of hope for the future. Season 9 could be one for the history books. We'll find out together. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching! Until next time, remember, you got this.